<laughs> That's funny. That's how we're going to start today. You're looking at my edge catcher. It's really, really stupid hot out here, and maybe I'm stupid for being out here, but um, I went to the trouble of leveling my work surface, so things are not going to run away today, today like they did the last time. And that will be a big relief, because we get some all kinds of interesting patterns that I was not expecting, and I'm not really complaining, but I like a certain amount of control. My timer is set, the music is off, and the glasses are nearby. We have spatulas to spread paint that we may or may not use. And I definitely love my little spatulas. And I've decided that this is going to be a double-sided swipe on a 16 by 20 inch canvas, starting from the middle and working my way out. And rather than just dump paint on in my squeeze bottles, squeeze bottles, we will uh, spread it with the spatula this time because because it's hot, the paint is much more fluid and it goes everywhere a lot more easily and not spreading it out means it's not in an even layer, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Anita's I've been enjoying for quite a while and this is a 16 ounce bottle, which incidentally fits the dollar store two for a dollar packs of squeeze bottle tops, little tiny things, but they fit. Rather than paying a lot for shipping and buying big 12 ounce or 16 ounce bottles, here you go, just use what you got. Try some Anitas. Um, I'm not an advocate for them other than the fact that I like their product and I use it pretty consistently. And so now I'm going to start doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I wish that I had made up my mind about what to do in the middle, but I think what I really want to do in the middle is put my swipe color in the middle last. I have my cotton rags, a couple of them. They're wet. They've been dampened and squeezed out. They are the hem of a t-shirt. And where to start? Let's put some color down. I really like this color, and I really like it when the paint doesn't flow across the canvas. I should probably do those separately. Interesting thought. Kind of late for that now. Okay, well, <laughs> I said that I was going to spread that, so I'm going to try and spread that. And maybe it's not such a bad thing that I put both sides down now. I just, I don't know, I don't, I have a learning curve. I don't know on hot days in Florida, outside, 90 to 100 under my tent, how paint is going to perform. Um, my brain not even, may not even perform. You don't know. We guess we'll find out together. So I'm just going to try and do the same thing on both sides. And at some point in time, I realize I'm going to have to pick a bright color and probably fill in now I said that I would stick with my plan, so stick with my plan, I'm going to try. The gold is kind of always see-through, so whatever I put next to it has got to be pretty well not see-through. That could even be black at this point. I like to use purple. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. I'm going to just give myself a chance to feel the situation out. So far... It's not looking very dramatic, but that will change. Anybody who's seen me before knows that. I am going to put my spatula with that gold paint up on the edge. Whoa. All right, the purple wants to go in. What's, what else? Let's see. I think we can do this. Yep, and we got, and we got flow troll boogers. Okay then, flow troll boogers. <laughs> Woo, and now we got super flowing paint. Okay, well, I like that. And I think sometimes the weirdest colors of all make the best swipes, so I'm going to embrace that theory <laughs> right now and uh, give us a little weirdness. Not necessarily something that I would wear <laughs> in an outfit, for sure, uh, any day ever. But things change with moving the paint around so we're going to take a chance. That's going to be the case again. Now, do I want to go to pink? Yes, I do. Give it a little shake. I'm not sure how much of a swipe color I need in the middle. I'm thinking it's going to be purple. Just because I haven't tried anything black or gold or white yet. But I do have a really nice... Let's go there so we keep the continuity of that, right? There. Like that's going to help. Okay, we hope so. 
I have turquoise. I can never get enough turquoise. I'm thinking that it's too close to the edge to be of much use. So if I want turquoise to show in this, I'm going to have to put it near the center. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm also going to have to go back and do what I said I was going to do. Yeah, I know my pattern is kind of weird. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And it's hot. You can tell. You can watch the paint just sort of melting <laughs> into the atmosphere here. Now, I haven't got any black, and I want some. I always want some black. It's nice to see that my paint is not running. It's also weird that we don't have the same pattern on both sides. I miscalculated, it looks like. But sometimes the best accidents are... Sometimes the best mistakes are still happy accidents. Yeah, that didn't come out any better than it did the first time the second time. Did I mention it's really hot out here? Okay, so we're, we're trying something that might be pushing the envelope, but since it's going to be a long time before I get a chance to uh, set up a camera rig inside, I think this is okay. All right, this horrible pink I have a little bit of left, and I'm always saying how it changes things up, and I'm going to depend on it to do the same thing again. We sort of have the same pattern, it's just not in the same exact configuration. What else do we want? I think, if I do a little bit of that, I'm getting kind of beyond myself as far as the... Uh, keeping up with the spatula, but I tend to forgive myself fairly easily, which is not a bad thing. I like the purple idea. I think it's going to go right through the center, as well as in the middle for a swipe color. I'm not sure that's a really wise idea, but that's what we're going to do anyway. All right, so if I do this, and I can judge how I like that, and I'm okay with that. But, do I want, yes I do, to fill in next to it with some white. Don't ask me why, I'm just getting a clue that adding contrast is not a bad thing. And the least I can do at this point is take my colors in the middle and push them toward the outside edge. Even though it's looking a little messy there, I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. I think I'm going to do the same thing along the edges over here. I expect to have plenty of paint on my cotton rag, which at that point I will attempt to add to the 16, the 20 inch side, the long side of my canvas. Yes, I use my fingers. Probably that will be until the day I die. What else do I want? Anything? I think we can't have enough blue, so let's just go ahead and get creative with blue. Yeah, it's another rainbow theme. Who cares? I like it. Somebody else will like it too. Okay, that was really not part of the plan, but it looks good to me. And I want to go back here and add just a little bit more. I'm overdoing the paint again. Yes, I know. And I didn't mean to, but I did. Just this. I'll get some of my colors out of the way. See if I forgot anything. Oh, look, I forgot something. I want some of this beautiful color shift turquoise. And no, I didn't keep using the spatula, but at least I started that way. And this is pretty stellar looking right now. I'm loving it. And I'm going to start on one side and hope that um, we can really keep things going. Also, if you're going to use spatulas, keep a wet rag handy. Nice and clean, wet rag, damp rag, does that beautifully. Okay, let's go from, huh, let's go from the middle that way. Let me fold my rag over. I'm going to dip into that purple. I'm going to switch this around so the, the flat side of the seam, yeah, like I can see that well. Um, okay, I'm just going right in that purple. If I need to add more before the next swipe, that's what I'll do. And, ready? <laughs> Are you? Am I? I don't know. That's cool for a start. I'm going to try and let that fall right down over the edge, under the canvas. 
and use the paint that's already on the rag to fix that. And I'm going to take that rag and I'm going to put it over here somewhere. Where am I going to put it? I didn't get freezer paper out. Dumb, 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 dumb. Okay, hopefully that'll be all right. I'm going to come back right now and I really want some black in the middle there. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what that's going to do, <laughs> but I like what's going on and I'm ready to do it again with the purple. Hopefully that works. I'm gonna drop it down over the side when I get there. So it will just naturally flow, come on, down over the side. And that paint covered rag will make my edges good. Now I see stuff going on here. I see stuff going on here and I wanna change it. It occurs to me I have medical tubing from a friend and a new friend. And I'm going to try and blow around in the center. You need some lungs, I'll tell you what. And I thought I had some. I'm inclined to um, swipe again down the middle and maybe with a little tiny cloth and maybe in an odd direction. I think I have one of those. Over here somewhere. I'll be right back. Hopefully. I'm sure that's still changing. Okay, so I'm going to take this little tiny rag and fold it in half a couple of times and then I'm going to get creative with my colors and my center section and I'm like that and it's making me happy that I'm doing this. Okay, cool. Now we have a torch that'll work. We also have a, a pretty stiff breeze right at the moment which is feeling awesome by the way. I don't know that I want that much more. I'm glad I put the black in because one side is different than the other, but I wish I put it in both sides. I have got skewers. And I can play with them because I'm me. interesting, huh? It's different. I'm not sure I like it as much as I did a minute ago. Let's see. I usually say if I agitate the paint, I can get cells, and there's no silicone in this. I'm really kind of wanting something different in there now. I suppose I could just go the length. You know what? I'm going to do whatever I please, as usual. Kind of like that. I want some more black. Do I want some more black anywhere else? Uh, not worried about it. What else? What else? What else? I did say I wanted pink. If I didn't say it out loud, I was thinking it. And so that means I can take this short cloth and I can swipe. I can swipe in both directions. Can't I? Yes, I can. Is that cloth the right width? It's nice to have a cloth <laughs> the right width. So I'm going to go right in here and hope that that works. Drop it right down. I wanted to do this two directional swipe thing. Does it qualify as three? For a while now. I'm just going to drop the same painty cloth right over. Yeah, I got some other things going on. The 
nice and quiet because I've committed heinous <laughs> paint hacks. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to be really at all, but I am thinking that I can always do what I always do. I keep playing until time runs out, and then if I'm smart and I remember, I can always turn the timer back on for part two. Now, as long as the paint is wet, I should have no particular problem letting it heal. And it's moving pretty good, I think. I'm not liking that yet. Not yet. Hmm. This might be my first video I... Oh! You never know. I remember doing something similar to this at some recent time. I'm thinking it's going to be turquoise that saves the day. Trying everything to save my butt and it's not being saved very well yet. He got some extra paint. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I like these sections. <laughs> I just don't like the middle at all. Oh well. So, what did I say? I said, if and out. Let's it out. Alright, so I still have no idea what I'm going to do there, and I probably am going to swipe that. I don't really want to use the same rags again, but it's what's handy. And this time I'm not going from the center in two directions, I'm just going to go call it good on one. So, let's do that. Let's see if we can lay it down. Now, Hello, mud. <laughs> I'd like to absolutely contemplate that there's a bunch of color in there. And I can see over here. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to knock some of that paint right off. What am I going to do? It's kind of cool. It just makes me want to put a black line down the center and swipe that. Because black works every time. And I've got mud. Okay, you know what? I'm not wrong. If you don't experiment, you never know. The question is, do I have a clean rag? <laughs> yes. I have a clean rag. I'm going for it. This will be the rescue of the century, huh? All right, I'm just going to fold this over because the center of it is actually the right length. I'm going to dip it right in there. Let it go over the edge a little bit. Now, I'm going to hope for the best. Not only that, I'm going to work this puppy. See if we can drag some of those colors up from beneath and down from above. Looks like a Japanese obi sort of at the moment. Let's wipe that off and let's keep wiping it off. Make some calligraphic type marks. I guess I'll know it when I like it. Nope, oh, that's too bad. Okay. So. We're still recording, but we won't be for long, so I'm going to start over. I'll see you in a minute.